Hello, I am the Dance to Life Dancer, and it's Christmas Day right now, and I want to talk about churches, and how I was accepted, and I want to start with the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ in 2009, the Faith Family Church on Greenmount Road, and that happened just three weeks ago, on December the 3rd, and all the other churches that I've been to for Christmas programs and all that stuff. And here's what I want to talk about. I've been to probably a thousand churches or more in my lifetime. And I have been accepted at none of them. None of them accepted me as I am. You know that song that you always sing? As I, just as I am. Come just as I am. They all preach that stuff, but uh, no. Come as you are? No, they don't mean that. I have been turned down by every church there ever was. And because of who I am, because of this, because of that, because of whatever. And the top two that stand out is number one, St. Matthew's United Methodist Church on 1200 Moreland Avenue. Which up until a few weeks ago was the top one that ever, that ever hurt me. But the one from Faith Family Church <coughs> topped them all. All of those together. Faith Family and St. Matthew is the same thing. They're the same thing, if you know what I mean. It did the same exact thing, exa almost exactly. I mean, almost exactly. The same stuff. And each and every other one of them that I've ever been to the same. I mean, those are the two big ones, you know what I mean? But I go there and, you know, I'm not accepted. They don't accept me as I am. They don't accept me with nothing. They don't accept me as I am. They don't accept who I am. As a matter of fact, you're about to see the video here of both of these churches. One, the St. Matthews. The I thought it was the worst disaster of its time. And, and, Faith Family Church, Greenmont Road, Shiloh, Illinois. And both of those, uh, you're going to see how I'm treated. You're going to see how they accepted me. You're going to see why I don't believe anymore. You're going to see why that, ah, uh, you're going to see why I ain't the way I am about these churches and all these religious people and all that stuff. Because they don't accept They Stand up there and preach out there, that preacher pulpit up there. And I'll tell you something, they don't accept you as you are. I've been told that God hates me so many times that, you know what, I don't even care anymore. That's how many times. And to date, I have not seen one single church. Not one single church that has accepted me. Not one. What? All they want me to do, you know, is they got a problem with my gender. They got a problem with my dance. They got a problem with who I am. They got a problem here. They got a problem there. Doesn't matter what the problem is. They always got something wrong with me. You know what I mean? They don't want me there. They don't want me because of who I am. They want me to change my colorful ways. They want me to change this or that or this or that or... How about uh, Faith Family, huh? Hmm. How about what they did? Calling me a monster clown? Faith killer with a chainsaw? Hmm. That top St. Matthews and what uh, Reverend Sloan did. Because Reverend Sloan did something too. So, what's the difference? Is there any difference here? Yeah, I think Faith Family way overdid it, if you know what I mean. But here you're about to see the video. And I want you to take a good look at it, both of these. And this is how I'm treated. There isn't one single church out there that accepts me as I am. I challenge you. I challenge you to show me one. And I mean one single church that accepts me for who I am. That doesn't want me to change my gender or my gay or my dance or this or that or whatever or my colors that I wear. You show me one out. You show me one. And one, because there ain't any. Okay, my friends, here is the video. I'm going to make me speak in short. Here's the video. Enjoy. See what I mean? Oh, how you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? How you been? Doing good. Good. <clears throat> sir, I'd like you to sit back here. I'm, excuse me? 
Yes. Excuse me. What did you say? Sir? I'm not a sir. I'm a ma'am. Are you sure? Because I'll have the sheriff uh, check and see if you are. Do you want to correct that, please? I come here to enjoy the music. Okay. I will sit back here, but there's no need for insult me. I'm not insulting you. You sit, you sit back here. All right. You want to correct what you said I'm first, gonna, please? I'm going to have the... I'll tell you, make people most uncomfortable when you use a lady's restroom. Okay. And so I'd like, uh, if we need to, we'll have, uh, we'll have the sheriff here to uh, talk with. You just hear what this person said, my, my friend? sitting back here just like they said. Yes, I'm enjoying the music. I have done nothing to nobody. Okay. Well, apparently you're causing a disturbance. You're going to have to come outside. With I haven't done nothing. Ma'am, would you like to come out easy? Okay. I haven't done anything to anybody, sir. You're going to have to come with us. Okay. Why? Because you're not listening to me. I want to know why. Because they've asked you to leave. The people they want to talk to you. Now let me ask let me say something here. Could you come over because I can't hear you. We're going to step outside to talk. Then we'll talk. Can I say something? <laughs> That's mine. Okay. Do not touch mine. Then let's go. Now, they are throwing me out of Church of Jesus Christ, right? Am I right? They're just asking that you not come back. Why? Because that's what they want. Can I hear him say that? I want to hear him say it because I don't believe it. He just it. told us to say it. Grab your stuff and let's go. Right now you're just walking out the door. If you keep it up, you're going to go to jail. For what? For disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. But all because I just want to, I love to listen to music. Is that yours is or book? is that a, yours? Church booklet? Is that yours? That's not, that's church stuff. I don't do church stuff. the side door over here. Now they are throwing me out of church, my friends, because I love music. That's cool. That's mine. You don't touch my equipment. Alright. My equipment, my friend. You hear this, my friends? I am being taken out of church because I love music. I want you to hear this, all my friends out there. For doing nothing. This bad for scared. No need for status. For doing absolutely nothing. Call him. I am being escorted out of church, my friends, for doing nothing. This is from the dance of life. You don't mind if I have my coat on now, do you? No, not at all. Now, my friends, I'm being thrown out of the Church of Jesus Christ because I've done nothing. You don't mind if I stop here and put my coat on, do you? Not at all. Put it on. Do not step on my equipment. My friends out there, because I love music, 
I'm talking to myself. And I love Jesus and I want to listen to music the way I want to. And I have done nothing wrong, my friends. Do you have your ID with you? Did I leave it on the seat? If I did, I, all my money is with me. No, you didn't. You just got everything in your, your purse. I need your ID. I have done nothing, sir. Do you see this, my friend? <laughs> it helps if you turn it around the other way. Turn what around? The camera. So I can see what you're saying? Dance of life right here. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there you are. There's my ID. Okay, now you got stuff on. Let's walk out the yeah, state ID. On your date of birth, your date of birth and all that stuff. Well, huh? my friends out there, I ain't being thrown out of church. I don't have it. Come on. Here. What'd you say? Come on. Okay. Amy, go ahead. Yes, absolutely. You see this, my friends? This is what discrimination is. This is what the world has come to. Do you understand it? Does everybody understand that? I have done nothing to nobody. I did nothing to nobody. Listen, apparently there was a disruption with you last night. They don't want to have the same interruption and disruption again tonight. And I have done nothing. Okay, well, I just in, want to make my eyes, statement. I have a right to make my statement. And, and I'm going to make my statement while you quit talking for a minute. Right. Can I speak okay. first, please? No, you've done plenty of speaking. Now it's my turn to speak. Be my guest. Okay. You was involved in a disruption here last night. They don't want you here anymore, making any and more disruptions. And what was this disruption? Ma'am, you'll have to take that up with the priest and everybody else. All I did was sit back there and enjoy the music the way I wanted to. I am at the, what church is this? This is the United Methodist Church, right? I don't know what kind United of church United Union is. Methodist Church. Is there everything no. right on your ID? Yes, it is. So and Dance of Life is cooperating. Is that a current address for you then? Yes, it is. Dance of Life is being thrown out of church because I love music, my friends. I want you all around the world to respond to this because I've done nothing to nobody. Where's, I, where's your vehicle at? My vehicle is back here, my friend. All right, let's walk to it. I would like to have my equipment back. You and I'd like to equipment. walk backwards or something. Okay. Am I going to be on YouTube now? Yes, you are. Okay. What's a good phone number for you, Susan? I don't have a phone anymore. No phone? I can't afford one. Okay. Now, my friends, I am being escorted out of church. This is discrimination at hand. And I Why want you, you to respond all across the world to this, my friends. I'm sorry? Why are you saying you're being discriminated? I am being discriminated Why? against, my friends. Why? I don't know. Why don't you ask oh. that member of the church? I'm telling you, why? Well, you ain't being discriminated. I have done nothing wrong. Well, in their I eyes, love to listen to music. I guess in their eyes, in the eyes of the Lord, you was being disruptive last night, and they don't want you here. And ex I did nothing last night, my friends out there in the world. I've done nothing to nobody, my friends. And this is the police escorting me out of church. Why ain't she getting you in the picture? I don't know. I guess I look better. Where's your car? Uh, over here someplace. Okay, well, let's go find it. Is that the back door or the front door? I have no idea how this church is set up. This bad. Look over here. Last name. Can I have my ID back, please? Who's Last name Stone. First name Sam Union. Sam Union. Sam Union. Sam Adam Moore. You see this, my friends? What's happening? This is discrimination at hand. I know where I'm going. I'm a dancer. I know I can feel behind me. Okay. You know what? You got me so nervous I don't know where my car is. Okay, well, you need to find it. Now, oh. What kind of car do you have? Thank you, ma'am.
It's red. And I think I came in from the other direction. Well, you told us you came in from this side. Well, you got me so confused, I don't know where I'm going. Can I please have my ID back? When we're done with you, we'll give it back to you. Okay, well, we might be traveling this yard for a while. I'm sure you don't mind that, do you? Because I've done nothing, my friends. This is the front. Let's try the other side. It's against the wall back there, so that's where you want to walk. Okay, let's go. You see this, my friends? I want you to see what's going on here. This is a pickup truck and not a uh, SUV? Pickup truck. Pickup truck. I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. Death of life never be disruptive to anybody. I just come here to listen to the music, my friends. I didn't come here to hurt anybody. I didn't come here to do anything to anybody. Can I please have my ID back? I'm as done with you. To the truck. You can well, have it. I'm looking for it. Okay. You see what's happening, my friends, out there? This is discrimination at its worst. I come here to listen to a beautiful Christmas music concert. And this is what they do to me. I want you to respond to this, friends. United Methodist Church in Belleville. Right, make sure you get them, not us. We're not the bad guys here. I'm aware of that. Oh, okay. So why are you videoing us then? I want the world to know what discrimination is like. Oh, okay. Why do you feel... Do you have a statement to make? Why do you feel they're discriminating against you? For one, they called me sir, and I'm not a sir. For two, they said that I'm disrupted and I have done nothing wrong except sit back there to listen to music, which I enjoy. I'm looking for my truck. Okay. Yeah, this way. Because this is the way I came in. And this is discrimination at hand, my friends out there. I want you to see what it looks like so you know never to, to wind up letting this happen to you. Now, the answer of life is cooperating with this. I, get, I didn't give you any problems, now did I? No, ma'am. That's right. Did I give you any problems, sir? Besides sticking that camera in my face. Huh? That's not a problem. No? You don't mind having your picture taken? Yes, I do. Well, this is my property, so... Back there. Because I came in this way. Look for a red truck, it says Dance of Life on it. That's what the whole truck says. My friends, this is discrimination at hand. What are you, the Sheriff's Department? St. Clair County Sheriff's Department. Yes, you are. Yes, I was in the back row. You need to quit looking at us in your camera and find your truck. Oh, I'm looking. I know I came this way somewhere. Well, you said you was against the wall. This ain't a wall. I'm against this. I parked in the last place. There it is. There. Now, take a look at this, my good, my friends. This is discrimination at hand from the United Methodist Church in Belleville, Illinois. I want you to see this. Here's your, here's your truck. I can walk backwards because I know how to do it. Okay. Now see this, my friends? I want you to respond right, to Susan, this. Susan, you have a wonderful evening. All right, you need to leave now. If you come back now, they don't want you here, and you will be arrested for criminal trespass, okay? And can I ask for what reason, please? Because they ask you to leave. The church, now, who asked me to leave? The church uh, elders asked you to leave. The church elders asked me to leave. Correct. And I We're done. Want We're done, Susan. Okay. Go ahead. and Take off. Hop in your car. Truck. To nobody.
I'll ask you one last time. Did I do anything to any? Did I? Did I smart up to you anyway? Nope. Did I cooperate? Yes, you did. And who am I speaking with? Officer Binion. Binion. Uh huh. Okay. Hop in your truck and go. Thank you very much. All right. Have a nice evening. Just don't come back over here. Okay. Don't come back to where? To this church. What's the name of this church? No St. Matthews. St. Matthews. Thank you. How you doing? I think that's him. It may not be. Is that open? I can't get in. Oh. Is Gary still here? Oh, I don't know. Here. Oh, there it is. I know. I gotta wait out here, right? Talk to you for a minute. Yeah, I wanted to talk anyway. A lot has happened since I was here last. I know. I saw you on a. Uh, I saw you on a. My house. They tried to burn me down. I saw you on YouTube as a evil clown. Uh oh yeah, that's killing, my Halloween videos, right? And, Susan. and it's caused a problem to where we don't let people in here who threaten to kill people. Ah, uh, this is my Halloween stuff. That was just for fun. Huh? It's on video, so. Okay, well, it's it's my Halloween thing. It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I, Who told you that? Because I, that's a lie. I saw it. I saw it. I right, that's Halloween of Mr. Grimm. I, I don't. I can't. I can't condone it. You're threatening to kill things and people and yourself. Um, Actually, it's not supposed to be me. It's supposed to be Mr. Said, Grimm. You said I'm killing Susan. You put blood all over Susan, which is you, right? All right, that's Mr. Grimm, though. That's a character, a Halloween character, not me. I don't see what the problem is because that's like a Halloween fun. That's nothing to that. I did that the last three years, so. I went back and looked at a couple of them, but I tell you what, it's it's just we've decided that, that it's not it's not right. It's not part of our, our beliefs. We don't believe. I don't believe either, so. Well, but you're doing it, and so you're representing... You're representing something there that I can't condone, and I, I can't have you coming to the show and doing what you do. Even the dancing, that's that's okay. Uh, you, you, it just doesn't. It you're just, my, you're yeah. what's her name? What? Right. Now, Where, like I listen, listen. Can I tell me. to her? It's me. I'm the boss. I've talked to all the pastors, and all the pastors are afraid of you because you you're on this video looking like you're going to kill people. And we can't have That's people. my Halloween stuff. It's nothing. It's Halloween. We can't have people in our church. I want to know who told you that beside. I looked at your website. No, you said somebody somebody else had a problem with it. No, I said I did. Well, you said somebody else too. Me and my pastors and everybody who looked at it is like, a, is just at all. They were just like, my gosh, this is hard. Right, that's my Halloween stuff. It doesn't mean, I mean, what, I'm not allowed to celebrate Susan, Halloween? Susan, you can celebrate Halloween, but you can't, I, I, I can't have a person who goes out and threatens to kill people on October I don't 31st. kill people, I'm the dance of life. I don't believe in killing anything. We, we've made a decision that you don't really get to do that here, okay? So you're, you're not really walking this year. And I do, I'm, a, I'm asking you nicely to... Yeah, listen to him. He's the one in Okay, because I haven't done anything to anybody. I mean, it's, it's scary. you know what? I was thrown out of the Chris Kindle market down there. Why? Because you were... I didn't do a damn thing to anybody. You never did. You say. I haven't done nothing to nobody. Never hurt nobody. This is reason I don't... You want to know something? Susan, Susan, no. I, I told you three years ago, four years ago, two years ago, last year. You're welcome to come here and be part of our ministry. If you want to get saved, you want to get turned. turned How am I supposed to get saved if nobody wants me any place, huh? Never come except these Christmas shows, and this is not. We're hey, I've never seen you except at a Christmas show. You only come during the Christmas. You only have a program at Christmas. We have church service every Sunday 
twice. Nobody wants me. We never said that. And we asked you to come. I mean, how am I supposed to find God? How am I supposed to find anything? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? They're supposed to, to minister to somebody so they can find the way and not lose the way to send me to hell? Well, why haven't you received it? Because we, yeah, we've ministered to you for all these years. Listen, here's the thing. If, if, you, if you put things on YouTube that you're trying to kill... I don't kill. You're kill. No, you say on there you're going to kill Susan, you're going to kill this, you got these knives, and I'm just going to do this, I'm going to do this. Do you want to know who that actually is? It's, it's, it's That's a, not me. It's a scary comment. That's, you know, they got the History Museum up there in St. Louis? No, I really don't. St. Louis History Museum, Missouri History Museum. That guy down there actually done that to me, and I'm just representing him. That's what I'm doing. No, but we, we don't want it around here. But I won't put them on anymore if that's have a problem with it. I mean, so many people complain about it. I'll take it. I'll shut it down. But, but how am I? You know, I want to ask you something. You and anybody that, how am I supposed to find God if every place I go to now this this isn't the first time I've had this problem. Let me speak. I'd like, I'd like you to come back as the as the regular Susan and not have to dance and not have to be a spectacle because you like to be the spectacle. You like I to like to share the meaning of life with people. No. We do not need the spectacle. How am I? You're me, not the show. Let me the ask show, the question. The show is on the stage, not in the audience. Right, let me ask the question. How am I supposed to ever find God any place, anywhere? You yeah, know what I mean? And I'm asking then. you and you do. You know, if nobody wants me there. Susan, I invited you here year after year after year. You scared me because I saw you on this silly thing on YouTube. I've had that great. there for five years. It scared me. I thought it's supposed five. to be scary. It's for Halloween. I don't want you in my building. It's for Halloween. That's supposed to be scary, but... I don't know if you're not carrying something right now. Are, are you? Do you want to search me? I'm not searching you. I can call the police if you want to do You're no my, more than welcome to search my purse. I don't want to search you. No. This is not the intent. The intent is to say... My intent was, you want to know I something? I kind of want you to go home and have a nice night. I'm cutting Christmas... I'll tell you something. I'm cutting Christmas out of this program completely because of this kind of stuff. I have more problems at Christmas than I ever have. And you want to know who it's with? Christians. Because you don't want to conform to any kind of Christian walk. Do you, what, you want to you know, know something? Christian walk is praying, asking God to take your save your soul, asking God to walk with you. And you think I don't believe in it? I don't know. You, you said my mom and dad. My my mom was a Sunday school teacher. My dad was a fill-in preacher. Would you like me to show you his license? I saw it on your videos. I've looked at about 30 of your videos. I know you talk about your parents a little bit on YouTube, and it's really nice you honor them, okay? You honor your parents, okay? I'm glad you do. I wish they were still here, well, because I'm tired mine, of all this. Susan, I wish mine were too, but it doesn't stop. I don't go out and dance in churches like that. I come here and work. Do you know what? I serve people. There's a, a psalm. I think it's one, Psalm 131 or something. I go out and dance. But There's a psalm like that. There's two of them. Here's the rule of faith family. We don't have a dancing ministry in the audience. We don't have a thing in the audience where people dance. There are churches that let people dance. We don't really do that. Well, you want to know something? I go to lots of churches. I've been to many churches. I've been to St. Matthew's over there. Right. Right. I went to St. I've been to lots of churches. You want to know something? I'm not even there five minutes. I walk in and I already got a problem with somebody. And I haven't even done anything. And it's not because your, your of the dancing video, either. Your video, your video scared me enough that you're not really allowed here, okay? We can't have somebody who, who on two months ago was running around saying they're going to kill themselves. That is a Halloween thing. Well, I had, you know what, I had you, somebody you, else you, complain you, about, about that. How about, how about the slashing tires in Belleville this year? I didn't slash anybody's anything. I didn't do anything to anybody. The police did. They had a record. It was a police record. I haven't done a thing to anybody. Okay. And you want to know something? I, I'm going to put it this way to you. I don't know who you are, but I know who he is. Just, all you really need to know is me. I'm here. Right. I'm here. Um, let me ask you a question. How am I ever supposed to find the meaning of life if, and the meaning of God and anything else if this is the way I'm done? Do you, do you have a Bible? Yeah, I have a Bible. Do you read it? I read mine every day. That's how I learn how to Can I ask you a question? Why would I want to? If... The, the, hurt, the one that hurts me the worst is the Christians all the time. You tell me about that, please have tell I, me. Have I hurt you before this year? What about that little scene last year? That was you. What about that we, we sat in here and we talked? Remember that, that one? That was you. I am authority or not. Do you, do, you know, do, you know what, do you know what leadership and authority means? If somebody has a rule, this is the rule. That the, 
bosses, the preachers, have said, Gary, will you take care of our church? I said, yes. So I'm in charge of security because I need to take care of this place. And I do take care of it, okay? Right, but what I don't understand is what is going on here. I mean, people want me to, oh, you need to find God. Now, let me say something. It's all about the Mr. What's his name? The, the killing thing. I can't have that here. Can't. That is a Halloween program. Really? I, I don't want it here. Matter of fact, here's the thing. If you want to come back to our church in, in, in a... In a a, a maid, you're going to come and sit in a chair, watch the show, clap, you can come. You cannot come and dance. I've decided you're too dangerous to have you taking up two, three seats, running around. Who's that? Michael Ford. Oh. He's cold. Uh, is it six yet? Yeah, it's uh, almost six o'clock, so you want all the doors yeah, but, open? Yeah, let them in. But can you make sure the greeters, the greeters need to be able to send the people with reserved seats to the side door on each side? They have to have reserved seats to the side. Inside, they got to go down the halls to the east, you know, the, the two side entrances. Can I speak to you? Listen, this is why I decided to cut Christmas out because I go to different places, you know what I mean? This is when I have most of the problem. And you want to know something? If I wind up going to hell, it's going to be yours and St. Matthew's you, and everybody if you, else. If you come back and you don't video me and you don't come back and you don't dance, you could come back. But we don't want to have a person who's professing death and killing. I don't believe in death. I don't believe in life. My main, listen, my main motto here is I do not destroy any kind of life. Maybe you need to see my rules because that's my rules. I don't destroy life. There was many, listen, there was many times I wanted to kill myself. See, here's the thing. If you see me do something, you're going to remember that. And if I did something like that, you ain't going to want to be around me. And you so didn't see me do anything. You posted on YouTube. People see that. That's a Halloween so, video. But no, it doesn't no, no, make no difference. What I need to put? Do I need to put on there? This is a Halloween video. No, they just shouldn't do it. I wouldn't right. do it. I shouldn't do a Halloween program. You see me doing? I'm trying to get to everybody. You know what I mean? I'm trying to celebrate every single holiday, every day thing there is. No. That's just the program I run. It doesn't fit our beliefs. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Bible. And you don't think I do? I can say I'll tell you something, honey. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. Because, he, you know what? The night of the fire, he caused me to wreck my van in order to make me home that night. If it wasn't for that, I'd have been burned up alive. And that's, you should be praising God for that, not arguing with our authority. We have, we have rules. People don't understand me. We're afraid of you. I've never hurt nobody. I've never done nothing to nobody. We're, we're afraid of you. you understand? Well, then Jesus you're is afraid. too. No, no, you're mistaken. That's not me in that suit. That's somebody else. Do you understand that? Do you understand what he reference of characters like a movie? Somebody on a movie? You know what I mean? It's like it's a movie. When you sit there and said, if you wind up going to hell, then it's our fault? It's all of you people's fault. No, it's not. You have that free will to choose. But if nobody wants me at no church, then what am I supposed to do? Listen, we have invited you. Really? I didn't want it, that wasn't what I heard when I came here. I, Did I not? I, I invited you for two or three years now, but here's the thing. When I start seeing the evil that's on that Halloween thing... That's a Halloween video. It's nothing. You scared us. We're done. We're over. It's nice. We'll find a place that'll let you kill things. I don't kill things, man. We are on video. That's not me. That's a Halloween video. I think, it, I think we're just done. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to wish you a happy time or whatever you want. I ain't shaking your hand. I mean, I, I got a question for somebody, you know? Why does Jesus not want me, huh? Jesus wants you. It's, it, no, it's what you do and what you choose. We all have a choice. We have a free will. You're the one that are that's posting these things on here that put putting these ideas in people's heads, you know? Like he just said. It's a show. Like okay. that one you're putting on in there okay. today. No, 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 no. That's totally different. This is true. This is true. That is false. Yeah. Nobody goes around killing. Right. It's false. It's Halloween. It's for fun. Ha <laughs> ha. We don't believe in Halloween either. Well, I, and besides, I've had uh, that on it for five years. I don't know why you waited to not. We're, we're basically done, so I, I'd like you to just go ahead and back up and go. Thank you very much. I won't shake hands. So. I'm not shaking hands because you don't want to know something. I quit. Okay. Well, that, I'm sorry. Man. Don't tell me about Jesus anymore. I don't want to hear it because you people are a bunch of hypocrites. So are you. 
So are you. So what? See? So what? I don't care anymore. Okay, if you ever Susan, did, Sue, you I won't need you to get up and leave right now. I'm talking to him. He told me. Uh, if you don't leave, I'm going to have someone that's going you out, which is him or her, and maybe even the Shiloh folks. So please just get up and go. That would be very interesting I'm to have you. you. Right now. You're going to escort me out? Yes. He won't, he's not going to touch you. He's just going to walk with you. No, because if somebody touches me, I haven't done nothing to you. I haven't done nothing to anybody. I want to know what judges Jesus Christ. Why does he not want me? Are you videoing this? No. Yes, you are. I see the light on. Why does Jesus Christ take me? Open the door. I'm not going to even... I don't want you touching me. Don't touch me. <laughs> going to walk all the way with me to the yes. car? I don't want you to touch me. I ain't gonna touch you. Or Jesus either. Yeah, you both touch you. Then him leave me alone and you and everybody, okay? Yeah. Because I'm going to hell and you're going to go with me, buddy. Because you throw me out, you, buddy, you hate me. I didn't tell you I hated you. God loves you. He just don't Bullshit. like your sins. He don't like your sins. He loves you. Bullshit. Well, that's the truth. I don't want to hear it anymore, okay? Uh, fine. Just keep your mouth quiet and just go to your car and leave. I don't have to keep my mouth shut. I can talk all I want to. God gives me that so right. I. I haven't done nothing to you. I didn't say you did. I don't like her following me. Why are you following me? She's my wife. But she can't I, follow me because it's, uh, it's her prerogative. And who are you? I'm her husband. You're not Gary. I'm head of security. You're not Gary. I'm Rick. I'm her husband. Tell it to that one over there. Yeah, whatever. And I come here to enjoy a Christmas program. And this is what Christians do to me. This is what God does to you. Everybody wants to hear that? What they do? I'm not burning my fucking car up. I'm not burning my goddamn car up for you or anybody else. I'll see you in hell someday. You hear what just happened? I haven't even turned this off yet. I'm parking out here and making this video. You see what just happened right there? This is me leaving the lot after they threatened me. You heard that, right? I'll come back. No, I'm leaving it on there. The last time this happened, I directed my fucking van. No, we're going this way. This will get me out quicker and I'll go turn and spin around because I'm, I'm never getting out of that. Never getting out of this. You're just going to spin around. Go here and turn around and go back. This is why I don't do Christmas no more. You want to know why now? This is why, right here. You don't tell me about God or anything else anymore because I don't want to hear none of it.
This is why I don't believe in Christmas no more. I better go to where the pagans are. Now you've seen that, right? You heard that? You've seen it, right? You've seen all of that, right? Yes. Christmas! Fuck it! Hello, I am the Dance Alive Dancer, and I'll tell you something, I'm going to play one of the most terrifying uh, videos you've ever seen. Well, there's not a lot of video to it, there's more audio than video. And it's from the Faith Family Church, 2015, one year ago, on December the 24th. And I'll tell you something, this guy said that he he's afraid of me, I'll tell you something. I am terrified of him. When he talked to me the last year, I kept all this. You know, I said, I'm not going to do anything with it. You know what I mean? But I, I had the worst feeling I ever had. And I'll tell you something, that even tops Everett. And, but we made up, with, me and Everett made up. But I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about, uh, I'm not going to mention a name. Because I'm going to let the whole Faith Family Church take the, take the blame for this. So uh, I'm not going to mention anybody's name because they're all responsible for this. But this guy scares me, and I get a real bad feeling worse than I ever got in my life. And this guy is in a, a church. He's a, he runs the church, you know what I mean? He's the Faith Family Church. They all get to the blame. And one, two, three people in there, you know, came up to me and, and talked to me last year for 27 minutes. And what they told me was terrifying, including threats with the police, and this, and... You know, about me being who I am and all kinds of stuff. I mean, anybody out there wants to believe in, you know, you know, understand what I go through and why I don't believe in nothing, nothing no more? Yeah, I used to believe. But here, here's what God is to me. This is what he does. I've been to a thousand churches, and I'll tell you something. This is the most bone-chilling, frightening, terrifying message that I have ever heard out of a church. And that... St. Matthews is, doesn't even come close to this. You watch the video and see what I'm talking about. Because I'm going to do a little talk afterwards too. You watch the video and see what it is I'm talking about. There's not a lot of video. Most of it's audio. Because I go around wearing cameras all the time. Regardless of where I go. So this is the most bone-chilling, terrifying, frightening you know, thing I have ever, ever, ever heard in my life coming out of a church and a pastor and a, a whole church like Faith Family or a church on Greenmount Road or any place. And that top St. Matthews. St. Matthews is here. This place is way up here. So go ahead and you listen to the video and I want you to hear this because I'll tell you something. It tops St. Matthews. It tops any other one I ever been to church-wise. But to tell you the truth, it's, you know, it tried to the church with. I've been to probably 14, uh, probably 1,700 churches in my life. This is the most bone-chilling, terrifying thing that I have ever witnessed in a church of God. And it's a family church. But that's the most, this guy scares me to, out of my mind. You know, worse than the devil scares somebody. That's how bad this guy scares me. Or this faith family church. Thank you. Here's part of the video. <clears throat> Come and talk to me, please. 
is over there. I know what this is leading to, so you don't want me here and you want you just don't want me and you want me out. Never done nothing to nobody. This is what I do. I celebrate the uh, the wonders of Jesus this way. I'm, I'm taking your video. You're doing my video. That's fine. But here's the thing. I asked you to take two seats, and you're taking ten. Okay, I'm taking two. No, well, you aren't. You're taking ten. I'm getting full. The diet, the, the auditorium is full. Okay. I have invited you to every show we do here. Okay. Okay. And I've worked with you, Sue. Yes. If you, if you take this video, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave the building because we don't want to let people video me. Okay. You can video me. I'll take two seats, okay? Two seats. Will you please just do that, okay? Yes. Family Church on Greenmont Road on uh, in Shiloh and that's the ones that have thrown me out for basically nothing uh, Faith Family Church in Shiloh um, I have and this is this is very important I, I get to say what I need to say here okay <coughs> I have welcomed you and the church has yes, welcomed you, you. Have. And that has not changed. You changed today. You changed. Something not happened changed. to me a little ago. Let me finish, please. You understand I'm in charge here? I had, I had over a thousand people in there. I had to make sure we're, we're comfortable and safe. That was my job, not you. You're one of a thousand people. And when I asked you to take two seats, you kept going back and forth. Now, wait, listen, you were going yeah. back and forth down the aisle. And so I asked you to take two seats. That's there's, not the problem. There's, no, the problem is that when I asked you in front of 100 people you pull your camera out and do this to me in my face here is gary hersey's rule for faith family church if anybody puts a camera in my face and starts videoing me without my approval you are breaking a federal law an illinois law and a city no you are because it's two-party consent when i ask you can i video you you consented and i videoed you and we both consented. i'm not okay. videoing now this, video is me. this is off see that right i don't care they video but here's the, the thing here's the thing if you're going to video me or my security, him, her, you can video the show, okay? You cannot video individual people here unless they give you approval ahead That's of time. That's actually not true. That, because I've, I've talked to the police. I've talked to I the know federal law, lady. I'm in the communication and telephone and television business. I cannot record you without your approval in Illinois. Uh, but anyway, okay. No, wait a minute. Let, me, let, me, let me back down mm -hmm. here make sure you understand. If a camera comes out in this church and starts videoing me, I will swear out a restraining order that you will not be allowed this property ever again. Now, do you want that? No. Okay, then I'm not going to do that. I'm just letting you know. The camera stays in the purse, okay? You want a video of the show, I don't care, okay? Never in my face again. If it's ever in my face again, you will be, you will be out of here. I will not allow that. He is not going to allow that. We don't want people... Vid now, if you say, Gary, can I take your picture? Yes. I, I have nothing to hide, Sue. I've never... You know what? Until today, I've never videoed you, ever. Until the day I've never either. And I've seen your videos on YouTube. Yes, I, I go through this on a weekly basis. Why? Because people abuse me. They tell me they don't want me. They tell me I should be dead. They tell me if I and don't share this pit stuff with the world, then who's going to stop it? Listen, I mean, listen, I'm, listen. I'm not worried about those other places. We've never done that. We've never done that here, okay? Right, until today. No, I did it today because you took up eight seats and I wanted you to give oh, me that, back the seats, six of them. You were right with the seats. I'm sorry about the seats. That's You're not well, the issue. Okay, I'm sorry I had to bring it out to you, but you wouldn't listen to me. That wasn't the issue. Yes, it just was because you walked okay. up. I walked, listen to me. I walked up to you and said, I need you in these two seats, and you said, I am. 
and I couldn't, I was out of seats in this whole auditorium. Did you hear the pastor a few minutes later say, please move in, make room? Yes, the you pastor were right about the seats. Okay, but that's why I asked you to come out, because when I asked you about the seats the second time, you pull your camera out on me, and that was almost got you thrown out. That camera almost got you thrown out, not, not your dancing, not your way of worship, okay? Okay. Do you can I, can now I, you can talk. Right. For a minute. You came up to me before. Do you remember? Yep. Before you came up mm -hmm. to me, told me that uh, there's no purpose for your dance. No, I didn't say that. I said I don't want you to be bothering other people because it's going to be crowded. And you told me something that really hurt me. You said that people, you know, don't. Uh, well, how did you say that? I you said, said some that people, people don't understand me. You. Some people are offended, but that made me hurt. That Sue, hurt me. Sue, you don't think that people get afraid of you? Uh, yeah, I've been doing it 15 years. The, I know. But it. wait a minute. But wait a minute. They are afraid of your difference. We're not. I'm but my not. My difference is this is my way of rejoicing. You so, know what? When you can I? You I said I can speak. Yeah. You you know when you get to heaven, you know what I mean. You're supposed to rejoice about the gift that I God agree. gives you, I not agree. sit there like a statue and do nothing. We didn't say you had to do that. It makes we me just, want to cry. I told you. I told. Well, cry. Go ahead. I'm not I almost cry. cried in the church. Here, here's clean it. Cry all you want. But here's the thing. We have an organization here to keep track of, and I need to make room for a thousand people out there. You understand I, that? Yes, I've been you're doing one, this before. You're one of a thousand uh, people that we're responsible for, and I offered you two seats, not one. I said you could have two. I doubled for you. I gave yes, you more. Thank you. Okay. It's the but the was thing never is, the problem. when you if you move your arms around too much and you bother somebody else, whose fault is that? Yours or theirs? I don't know. Maybe it's mine. It's because I'm alive. I don't know. No, I, I had something bad happen last week. I want to tell you about that. Okay, but can we can we solidly understand though that you need? You were right about the seats. I didn't have a your, problem with it. Stay in your zone if we're crowded. We're not crowded. We don't have this discussion, do we? Right. I didn't have a problem with the seats. You're right about the seats. There's a thousand people. I've been in places way more crowded standing up in places like this. I understand. So I kind of know how to do it. Gary's rules stand here, okay? And you will the not seats was not the take, complaint. But if you pull the camera on me again. I will make it so you never come back. Here. The reason that I do that is because oh, I'm not even going to get into it. Let's don't get into it. I don't want the camera on me. I did not give you authority to ever. I went me. through this. I went through something about a week and a half ago. I don't know if you heard about it or not. No. At another place, and it caused me to almost die. It caused me to almost get to wreck my car. Mm -hmm. I was at a place where they told me that Jesus doesn't want me, and I'm an abomination, and all this, and it made me cry, and I was crying down, going down the road. Go, and it, why would you ever want to go back there? They didn't. I wouldn't want to go Don't back go there. Don't go back there, Sue. Never again. Okay. But I lost my car, and when I got out of that car, I heard in my head, I said, why, God, why did you let me come back from this accident? Because I'm hurting inside. Sue. I hurt. Sue. I need God's help. I understand that, and we will pray for you and pray with you all you want. But I do need to make sure that you understand that this is, this is about your soul here, not your body and your way you're looking and the way you're acting. This is about your soul going to heaven. That's what we want to see. You go to heaven and be with Jesus. Right, but we do not want we do not want a rebel who doesn't follow our rules. That's what this whole discussion is here is about. Go ahead. The other thing I want to say is at Christmas uh, play, the only reason I said anything to you at all was because you were beating on the windows and on the uh, doors <coughs> so hard you never spoke them. Trying to get in. When and my this? wife was standing the there. She show. knows what the I'm talking show. about. It was a Friday night. Oh, I, I was okay, not yeah, here. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be here. I was out of town. I'm not. Yeah, that's my fault there. Let's, let's, I take the and, let's do this. And I'm not against you on that, but I, I cannot have you doing that. Doing stuff like well, that. That's what scares that. people. You're absolutely right. It should be doing that's that. That's what scares people. You know people. what, Sue? If somebody, so, somebody is, I've had people come up to me and say, boy, she dresses really funny. Yeah, she does. Okay, fine. That's a, your decision. You do, you want to dress the way you dress? I don't care. As long as you're not showing off anything that you shouldn't show off. Yeah, I don't ever do that. I know. And if you did, I would question you. But you've been very modest about it. I'm trying to. Well, and, and you've agreed to us with the, you know, the rules here. But the, here's the thing. We want to pray for your car wreck or your your issues. I need with, some prayer because I, I feel well, but awful. Listen, but listen, Sue, you want to, you want to, you know, I'm under authority. You know what authority is? I certainly do. I deal with this on a weekly basis. But you know, I submit to my authority. I do what my authority says. I'm not talking about a, a, a church that says you are a bad. Like you're, like you're saying these other churches said bad. Yeah, I've met a, a lot of Forget them. Forget them, okay? But here's the thing. If you want to be under, if I am under authority. Jesus was under authority. Jesus was under God's authority. And I'm under the pastor's authority. And my job is to make sure that all 1,000 people here meet Jesus. Not one. 
if I can stop and help you meet Jesus, I want to help you. But if I want to, if, if you if you don't follow my rules, I will tell you something. Okay. You know, uh, there's a lot of other people out, out there like me. You know what I mean? Nobody's completely like yeah, me. Thousands but I'll tell you thousands something. Of people who but are in the I'll tell you something. The way to get them to find Jesus, you know, is not by telling them they're, they're a monster, they're this, they're that. The way to get them to find is to understand them. I know, but here's no, the thing. The way to get them to find Jesus is show the love of God. That's right. Love is what's Showing the love of God is not God. telling somebody they're a freak, they're a monster, they're a... You well, know yeah, what I mean? that's but, not but right. Listen, listen yeah. Sue, they, they, people have made fun of me my whole life for being overweight. But that's not okay. Listen, no, but listen, they've said my jaw sticks out, this or that. And you know what I do? I just go like this. I go, I don't try to make the world different. I am not here to change the world. I'm here to change me. My job is to get Gary Hersey into, into heaven. If I can help you go to heaven at the same time, wonderful. But you know what? Do I, do, you know I, what? do, we, do we let, we let every kind of person in this place, right? I have no problem with that. We let every person in here. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, uh, you know, they can be gay, they can be married, unmarried, they can be adult, they can be old, they can be ugly, they can be smelly. We have smelly people coming here. It's horrible. Oh, yeah. But you know what? When they're in here, we don't say go take a bath. Some churches that do that. But I want you to understand that what we want you to do is be considerate to that person next to you. Here's God. You know what God says? Come and sit at my throne with me, and I will hold you, Sue. But he wants you to also be worried about the person next to you. I'm worried about every single person. No, but not worry about them. Be consistently realizing this. Because they I want are, each and every they, person. I never want them to face what I face. No, but I never don't want you them know to... they're going through their own thing? Do you no. know what happened to me this week? I don't. I'm not telling you. But the thing is, things happen to everybody every week, okay? Now, I want to pray about your wreck. You had a car wreck, right? That's right. Did you get injured? I did, but I didn't care. I told them I don't care. Did you go to the doctor? Or I went to the hospital. They did me bad, too. They told me that uh, it was St. Elizabeth's Hospital. It's going to be story about that, too. At St. Elizabeth's Hospital, they told me that uh, Jesus don't want me there. Well, don't That's go, the problem. I don't understand this because... But listen, so don't go there again. Go to Memorial. They'll take you. Okay? Here, here's a, you, ever, you, read the, you ever read the Bible? They talked about sure if, if a city doesn't accept you, you brush the dust off your shoes yes, and leave. Yes, my dad was a feeling preacher. You don't know fight it. them. You don't fight them. You don't fight authority. Here's why I do. I don't want to see somebody, you know, go down there. You can't stop them. I've seen hell. You I've can't been there. stop them. So you can't stop them. You can pray for them. You can be nice to them, but you can't stop them. But everybody's and, got a free will. Hey, those hospitals, those people who are racist and sexist and yeah, all this horrible. stuff. They're horrible. Listen, but they're, they're bad people. But you know what? Pray for them. Pray for them. You know what? what? Everybody has a free will. Yes. Okay, we we make our own choices. All right. Yes. Why does people do what they do? Because we live in a falling world. Okay. Say that again. We live in a falling world. So it that's why. Bad. That is why you got people that say things the way they do. You know, that's do the things that they do. Okay. And I have so, an anxiety disorder. So okay, but you know what? We're all going to pray for you. I hope you somebody know. does. But no, we listen, do. listen, listen. We want you here. To hear you know and sh see our show you know what are we to do is to show the love of christ to people that's what's going to draw right. that's what's going to draw people to god the love is, of is christ. the life now you can't sit there when gary had asked you know about jumping around and everything that scares some people they're if not you're, used if to you're that. bothering the person exactly. next to you then they don't get to know jesus because of you is that bad this is me. I mean, you can't. No, no. You can change. I can change. Listen, I can change. I changed a lot. I'm not gonna change it then, because when I, I saw my mom, she told me to. When I saw the other side, they told me to experience. You know, to, to share the meaning of life with people hey, through my dance. We don't mind that, but we don't have a dance team here. So you can dance a little bit in your pew. You can raise your hands and wave. You can pray and do this all you want to. Yeah, people care. do that all the time. Wait, listen, I, let me let me explain. I had a lady come in here with a flag one time. Picture a, a big long pole with a flag, and the flag would touch the ceiling. It was so big. It was a big flag, and she wanted to wave the flag. Her ministry was waving flags. I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, we don't have a flag ministry here. Well, I want to just stand in the back and wave it. Well, she would have hit people in the head with that pole, and I had to tell her no. And you know what she did? She ran out of here, ran out of the parking lot, waving the flag at people. And we finally told her to get off the property because she was nuts. Now, you haven't done anything like that. No. But you know what? Here, here. Hey, we get all kinds in here. We get people who, they come in here and tell us they're homeless. They're not. 
they come in there and say they're needing help and they don't need it. They're lying to us. Well, they're that's gypsies. One thing I'll, I'll never lie to you. That's what ain't, well, that's for sure. Here's the thing. I want you to understand. I'm trying to keep track of a thousand people and help you too. You understand? Yes. So let's pray for Sue. And what is it? What is the problem? A back or just your your head? Your your feeling she upset? Got it. She got it. She I'm has emotionally. Anxiety. I'm emotionally hurt. Okay. Not just about this, about everything. Okay, but if it's about this, if you would have not taken the camera out, that would never happen. Just so you know. Okay. We that happened. You know what? I would just like to forget about that. Okay, we're gonna forget about it. But here's the thing: don't pull your camera in this place on me again. You pull it again, you're out. That's the way it works. For Gary, I'm just I'm in charge of a lot of because stuff. Up until now, I've never had a problem. It. I would appreciate it if you would take my picture off her because I don't want to see it on the. Oh, yeah. uh, By the way, I was going to ask you what one other favor. Can you do this? Don't put our stuff on video on YouTube unless I give you approval. You can put the the Christmas Eve service on there if you want to. You know all the singers and stuff. But if you put my your our confrontation goes. Here's on how this. Here's how I do this. You know, I keep all of the stuff. If there's ever a problem down the line, and I got I got. 500,000 things I keep, you know, no, it's not going to be, on, I don't want this on the air. Okay, but here's the thing. Just so we're going to have to ask you to get off the property if you, if you can't. I don't want it on the air anymore than you Here's, the, here's you the deal, if any video. I want to forget this. We're forgetting it, but here's the thing right now. If you show, if I look on YouTube and see Gary Hersey argue with you, then I'm going to swear a warrant out for your arrest. That's what I'm going to do, because that's what I will do. <laughs> I know the police departments. I know all the chiefs. So do I, yes. I know them better than you. I know FBI, federals. Name it. I, I can't know believe what I'm hearing. I'm only telling you, don't put me on YouTube. You did it to other churches without their approval. Don't do it to me. You do it to me. Man, you're the first one that ever said this. Because they don't ever talk to you. They throw you out. We're trying to be your oh, friend. The most famous one is uh, St. Matthew's. I know. I saw it. I watched the whole thing. They walked you through the basement and all that stuff. And right. the park. You heard what they said, didn't you? It was wrong. We didn't do that to you, and we're not going to do it to you unless you pull cameras on us and start being a big shot. You know, can we just forget the cameras? If you will, too. I, just keep in mind what I told you. If you I don't ever want to see my picture on there because no. I will do the same thing. We are not here to be your enemy. We're here to be your friend. But the thing is, if I'm in there talking to you about squeeze in, did you hear the pastor tell everybody to squeeze in? No, I didn't. He did it right after we talked. He I said, too busy listening to no, you. No, after you went back in. After you went back in and I came back in, he said, we're really crowded, can everybody squeeze I'm in? I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. He did. He told a thousand people to squeeze in. I did it to you nicely. It said, hey, could you make two seats only? Because I needed those extra six. That wasn't six. a problem. I, yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Okay, so anyway, here's the deal. Let's pray for your your, yes, your anxiety. Awesome. But I want you to understand this is going to, it comes from you as well as it is us. You cannot confront authority and, and fight authority and win. It doesn't work. I don't fight authority. I don't fight any authority. Government says I owe money, I pay them. If I, if I, you know, I don't fight them. Policeman says you sped. Yes, sir. Here's my ticket. Thank you, sir. I'll pay it. That's how I am. So you got to realize authority is in charge for a reason. I am unfortunately authority here. I'm the, I've been very nice. I'm going to be nice. This is over with as far as I'm concerned. We're going to pray for your healing. But I need you to realize that we're here as friends, not as adversaries. If we become adversaries, then it's over. I don't want that to start here. Okay. I don't even want to go there. All right. Well, let's just end it with prayer. Father God, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Hold, no. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you take Sue into your arms, Lord, and that you would heal her, that you would heal her body, and take away this anxiety, that you would fill her with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit would touch her and teach her about authority, Lord. Show her how authority works, not, not evil authority, not mean churches, mean hospitals, but real authority that Jesus said, Take care of my sheep, and we're here to take care of our sheep. And so we're going to take care of Sue. We're going to take care of the other 999 people that are in this building. And we welcome her back, but help her be healed of her mind. Yes. Help her be healed of her anxieties. Let her sleep at night. Let her sleep better than she ever has. But let the Holy Spirit come upon her and heal her inside, outside, all over. Heal the injuries from this car wreck. Give her another vehicle and fix her life. Just fix her life in Jesus' name. Most of all, most of all, Father, give her peace yes. and let her understand that nobody here is out to get her. And we're not here to hurt her, we're here to help her. And just bless her this Christmas time, Lord. Let it be a great Christmas. Jesus. Let this be an awesome Christmas in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. I ask that you would heal the broken heart in Jesus' name. We bind up all inflection right now over Sue and lose your healing 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, I am in agreement with Gary as he prayed for healing for Sue and prayed for her submissiveness, Father God, to authority. We just praise you and we give you glory, Father God, because you're worthy to be exalted. Father God, right now, it is your love that's going to draw people to you. It is your love. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, so let me, let me tell you why I came here, why I came to this church like 15 years ago. I came here to learn about Jesus. I already knew about Jesus, but I wanted to learn more. And I put myself in a church that I could listen to the pastor and believe him. And you know what? Then I said, okay, I'm going to come back next week. And I'm going to come back next week. And then I read my Bible. And then I prayed. And I prayed. And I submitted to their authority. When they asked me to be the leader, I said I would do certain things. And I would do a certain way. And I would not treat anybody, including you, wrong. But I was told that my authority did allow me to take people off the property if need be. And all those things happen because I'm submitting to my leadership and my authority. My authority is very good here. You know Pastor Rick and Margie. They're nice people. John, you heard him talk about his being poor when he, did you hear him talk about that up there I heard it. he was like he was very poor man was poor and he's a great christian man you're a great christian person all you have to do is submit to jesus and you don't have to hey you know what you can dress like this and be the way you are the rest of your life i don't care but i want you to submit to jesus and i want you to also realize that nobody here is trying to harm you but i do have a seat or two for you <laughs> not not 10 right you know right. this is where we're going to bump heads we got we have we got to go along it wasn't even the seats i wasn't even i know you just need a little room to move around but i just can't give you that but i want somebody to really understand me so far you know and i'll tell you i'm going to be careful i understand i've been you know the thousands of churches since i was 15 mm -hmm. you know what i mean and guess how many of them accepted me so far and that was before i ever came out and we guess how many you? Probably, None. Probably about here. Huh? We've accepted you. Uh, you're the only one that ever even sit down and talk to but me. But Sue, we've accepted you, but you have to follow some rules. We're saying, you can come here. Come Sunday. We would love to have you get learn about Jesus. Pray, Bible, all those things. But the thing is, it's not just a Christmas show that you get No, it is, that, it is not. Okay, it's all about but if you want to come on a Sunday, come on a Sunday. But... You know, if you want to, if you want, you want, if you really want to dance around a little bit, try to take a seat in the corner or somewhere where you won't be in some. The person behind you can't see when you're doing this, right? But if everybody else, hey, everybody else is up doing this, that's fine. It doesn't matter oh, where you're I at. I could see everybody else doing that. That you can't make them. Like you, you, you can't make them do it. Not everybody is, is like that. Not everybody. And here's the thing: when you say you want, like you want to uh, show life to people. You can't do that. You got to be considerate of other people because they're not used to that. I'm thinking about it this way, you know. When you get into heaven, you know, and all that stuff, well, you know what I mean. What rejoice about the gift when of you heaven. Get to, when you right. get to heaven, you will rejoice here, beauty about the gift of heaven that God gave me. Right, but so right you may here, you have you may have the most colorful outfit on in heaven we've ever seen because you like color. That's right. I like I am, the color. I am a, hey, I'm boring. Okay, I like this boring <laughs> stuff here. Look at here's my look at my little hat. See? Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, I don't. I'm a boring guy. I got five kids and a wife for 40 years. I've worked through all this stuff. I'm 62 years old, okay? I don't want to fight with you. I want to come here and praise Jesus. I don't Jesus. want to fight either. I want to praise Jesus. That's, That's what I want to do too. mission to come and fight with anybody. Well, and we want you to come here and praise Jesus it, it with us. It makes me feel real sad. Well, if you, if you take everybody into consideration when you go and just submit to the uh, authority, authority here. I've seen, you know what? If you, wait a minute, if you would submit to the authority here, that way, everybody around you is cool. You know, and, you're not and freaking nobody, nobody and out. nobody's here saying change your clothes. Nobody's really? saying you can't have pink. You can't do this. Right. We understand who you are. Okay? Do we? Do we necessarily want to be like you? No. Do you want to be like me? No. Right? No. We don't want to switch, do we? No. But we want to be friends, and we don't want to be. Yeah, because I don't have many many of those. Well, but the thing is, Sue, we are your friend, but you can't become. You know, authority is authority. If my boy, hey, you know what? If Pastor Rick came in here right now and said, Gary, you're no longer in charge of security, you're no longer in charge of ushers. Yes, sir. Would I quit the church? Probably not. I don't I do not do this for, for being a big shot. Yeah. Neither do I. I'm not trying to be a, a spectacle. I'm trying to share somebody with the meaning. I lost my mom, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you something. I learned something when that happened. I lost my mom and dad, too. Just I lost them, and I learned something that, you know, what the meaning of life is and what's really important. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life, you know what I mean? To lose, to lose someone that you care about, to lose someone that you love. Yeah. You know what I mean? They could go to heaven, they could go to hell. You may never see them again, you know what I mean? You know what the meaning of life really is, though? 
what they're talking about up there on the stage today? I sure do. My, like I said, my yeah. dad was a preacher. I but, seen but, hell once, remember? But I, but I need you to be the person who looks at the person next to you and goes, am I helping that person make a decision for Christ or am I hurting them? That's good. Okay? They don't have to be you. They don't have to be... I don't know. Huh? What's your name? Are you Yvonne. Yvonne. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> you know, you know, mixed up I am. Yeah. That's all right. You're the one that I, yeah, you're you my gave friend. Gave it here for her. Yeah. And this is why we spend time with you, Sue. So I will tell you uh, We spend time you know, with you for this reason. Right, I was in a, you know, I was abused by men in the past. You I, know believe what I, mean? I believe that. I believe that. And uh, I'm kind of... They were horrible, though. Men. They were horrible, Sue. So. Okay? Yeah. Those men, you know what? Those men needed to go to prison One of them was my dad. Well, he needed to go to jail. Did he? No. But if he did, great. But the thing is, he was just a bad man. You know what? I'm not a bad man. I've had two daughters and three sons. I've never abused any of them. But you know what? I stayed close to Jesus. I read my Bible every day. I pray every day. I come to church. I worship. And when some, when I screw up, if I started messing with somebody, wouldn't you correct me? Mm -hmm. You'd correct me, right? Yep. When he does something wrong, I correct him. You know what? We work together that way because we, we believe in each other and we right. believe in what Jesus says. That we should work with each other. And everybody out there needs to know it. That's right. But see, if you get one person in heaven, great. But what if you can get thousands? You can't get thousands bucking the system because people right. in the system are like, you know what, you might you might be able to get a whole bunch of people who dance to go to heaven, but you might also run off a bunch of people who think you're crazy. But the reason they, they seem to think you're crazy is the same reason they think I'm crazy because I praise with my hands. I do this when I pray. Yeah. Some people say I'm crazy. I've had brothers who told me, you're a holy roller. Yep. That you know what? Before? I don't care. Yeah, I am a holy roller. I'm here for Jesus. I'm not here for anybody but Jesus and this thousand people to make sure they get to know Jesus too. And I want you to know Jesus the way I know Jesus, and that is just pretty much God. I have a problem, man. I'm hurting inside. My gut hurts. My head hurts. I had a wreck. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Fix me. He ain't going to just wave a wand over This isn't magic. This is called... Jesus will make the pain go away. He'll flush it away. It might take a day. It might take a week. It might take a year. It could happen instantly. And just so you know, I've lost my mom and dad. You've lost your mom and dad, yes. right? You lose your mom and dad? They still around? I lost, lost my mom. So They're going to die, though, right? Yeah. They they don't hey, you know, you know anybody who doesn't die? No. We're all going there somewhere. That's what I'm trying to get out there, people. That we, You know, it's not forever. This is not forever. Sue, they all know it. No, they don't know it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they they do. just don't acknowledge it then. But you're not going to be able to get through to that person. I know. You know who you get through to? You get through a person who gets on their knees before Jesus, and they, they'll get down on their knees and pray, and they'll say, Jesus, save me, then they'll go to heaven. The you center know, it, prayer it, we it, do every day. It is rough, and you, you hate to see people you don't want that to see them go uh, die and go to hell, you know. But the Bible tells you, like Gary told you earlier, they don't accept what do you do, just as Jesus did. You dust your feet off and you move yeah, on to the next. But you, still keep, but you keep them. You keep them in prayer. You know that God would change their. You heart. know what? You know what? I really appreciate the fact that you dance for God, but also keep in mind the person to your right and your left is also a, you know, a person with opinions. And you don't have to agree with them. They don't agree with you. Just be aware they're there and uh, be aware. I, I'm aware of that because I've been doing yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. No. So. But when you're dancing, you know, if you decide you want, like you're going to come to our second service, you're going to stay for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Just do like this time. We're going to fill up again. I need you to make sure there's room for people to sit. Okay. That's all I want to do. If you want to dance, if you want to dance. Hello. I am the Dance of Life Dancer. And I presume you have just seen the video, audio, most of it's audio, because I have to have cameras and audio devices on me every single place I go, regardless of where I go anymore. But I'll tell you something, if that wasn't the most bone-chilling, terrifying thing I've ever heard from, uh, and f believe it or not, it's from a place of God. Now, I might expect something like this if I was in, I don't know, the museum or where else, wherever else I would go to, you know, with a regular place, you know, a motorcycle club or something like that. I might expect to hear something like that, but from the Church of God? He's going to... Uh, call the police on me. St. Matthew's done that. Yes, they've done that. But this tops that. I mean, listen to it again. I mean, there's what Jesus says. That's how Jesus loved me? Really? And they wonder why I don't believe in anything anymore. Why I'm the way I am. Why I am cautious like that. Why I have to do what I have to do. You want to know something? I've done nothing to nobody. 
nothing ever. I'm sitting there, I'm trying to share the meaning of life with people. And this is a video, this is not this year, this is last year. December the 24th, 7 o'clock, no, it was 5 o'clock actually. No, it was, two, it was 1 o'clock during the uh, not a Christmas Eve service. I think it was, either that or it was the one before that. And it was during that. And it came to me, you know what I mean, and uh, you heard what he said. You didn't see it, but you heard it. I mean, I'm telling you something. I've been to a lot of churches in my life. I mean, I've been thrown out of a lot of churches. I've been had a lot of problems with a lot of churches. You know what I mean? And this this one, this church, I'm just I'm not gonna put one person's name on. I'm just gonna put the whole church there. I'll just you know, it was, it was three people in the church, but I'm just gonna put lay this on the whole church because they're all involved with it. That's what this guy told me, and these people told me. So they're all involved with it. So, I'll tell you something, and I, I'm able to tell, you know, aura of a bad or a good person, and the aura that I got, the terrifying, I got, it, it's, it's like something out of down there. It scares me to death, and the only other time I ever got an aura like that, you know, was up at the museum. I'm not going to say what museum, but somebody named Everett, but we made up and everything's fine with that, but I'll tell you something, in the church... I've never got a bad feeling that about somebody before or a church. Let's put it this way. I've never got a bad feeling about a church before like that one. And that includes St. Matthew's. St. Matthew's, he's talking to me. They're telling me about St. Matthew's, how bad they did. I'll tell you something, my friend. If you're listening to this, they talked St. Matthew's. St. Matthew's didn't sit down and tell me all this stuff. All they did was toss me out. That's what you should have done. Just toss me out. All this speech, this God doesn't want me and he wants me to conform and he's going to have me, um, you know, uh, if I, this and that, he's, the police and all this different stuff, they, all these agencies that he mentioned. There's God at work right there. You see what I mean? There's him, him at work. Get somebody like me, transgender. That's so all, you know, it has nothing to do with the dance. It has nothing to do with any of it. It has to do with who I am. You know what I mean? My past. Who I am, which they're not able to forgive and forget. Um, which <laughs> that, now this that, that one this one's from 2015, not 16. You know, last year, which actually tops this year really. But I sat on it because I figured something like this would happen. Because hey, I haven't been doing this 14 years to not know stuff. You know what I mean? 14 years I've been doing this, and guess what? I've been to how many churches? Probably 2,000 in here in St. Louis. And they all do the same. Different name, different color, different churches. They all do the same. But I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. Faith Family Church Greenmont Road tops them all. Because I have been to a lot of churches that have been thrown out a lot of ways. Including the police taking me out of the church. But this one... Uh, tops every one of them with the threats, the stuff that he said to me. You know, I have never ever had anybody call me a monster killer. I'll tell you something. This guy scares the hell out of me. This church scares me. Free. It makes me my brain freeze like I'm in hell someplace because I get a real bad or I get a real bad sense off this guy. I mean, real bad. Way worse than the guy at the museum. Way worse than. Uh, the one at St. Matthew's, you know, I got a bad aura of him too, but uh, the depth of it, is, it isn't even the same. We're nowhere in the same neighborhood here. I mean, not even in the same neighborhood. The, the, the feeling I got last year was real bad. You know what I mean? The feeling I got this year was so overwhelming it lasted three days. Before I even went to the event. I walk in the door and I'll tell you something. I felt like I walked into, what did I walk, a hell maybe? I don't know, I don't believe in it anymore, but what did I walk, I felt like I walked into? Like I walked into, I don't know, some, you know, I haven't felt that bad when I was facing killers, you know what I mean? I've been in front of, I've seen killers before. I've seen bad people, I've seen motorcycle guys, I've seen, you know, I've been in bars before. I've been, I've been all different kinds of places dancing. I've seen pretty rough people, and they didn't scare me like this guy does. 
but this church does. Let's put it that way. I got a bone chilling, terror, terrifying feeling. If anybody wants to say out there, oh, that's the devil making me do that. No, my friend, it's not the devil that made me do that. I didn't do anything to anybody. I haven't hurt anybody. I haven't killed anybody. I haven't done nothing to nobody. I'm different. I share my joy from Jesus up there different than he does or they, anybody does. I rejoice. You know, that's what you're supposed to do in heaven. Rejoice, you know. I do it differently. I'm not a monster. I'm not a killer. I'm not anything. You know what I mean? I mean, shame on these people for using that as an excuse. Because that's what they did. They used that as an excuse. Those videos have been on. They used my videos, uh, Halloween videos, for an excuse. Shame on you for using that as an excuse. Because I'll tell you something, it doesn't excuse me, man. Because I haven't hurt nobody. I haven't done nothing to nobody. I mean, they want to believe all this hype about me. They want to believe all this nonsense about me. But they don't want to sit down here. See this? Sit down here and sit there and talk to and listen to me. And when they, yeah, okay, yeah, you know what? Yeah, he did sit down and talk to me. Okay, but you want to know something? There's a difference in sitting down in this chair and talking to somebody and listening to what they got to say. He might have sat down and listened. The, the people from Faith Family might have sat down here and St. Matthews and all these other people. And they might have heard the words, but the words went right through here and went out there right on the floor. Because they didn't understand one meaning of it, one bit of it. Doesn't understand I got an anxiety disorder, that I have a um, mental disorder called an anxiety disorder, bipolar disorder. They didn't understand any of that stuff. No, 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 no. They didn't understand that. Oh, and I'm, I'm a killer, I'm a murderer, I'm, a, I'm all of this. Baloney! In fact, I bought some baloney for you. You want to see it? Right here. See it? See this right here? Baloney. That's baloney. I bought a tonight special for that. Because that's what it is. If you want to get to know me, don't judge me. Don't slam me. You want me to believe in something up there? I'll tell you what. I, I, I run away from this guy. This, guy's, this guy scares me to death. And he's talking about me scaring him. He's scary. He's scarier than Mr. Grimm or any of these other people I've ever seen. This faith family church scares the hell out of me. I should have left last year. I shouldn't have came back. My mistake. My error. I thought that I'd be in a place that loves me for who I am. But boy, was I mistaken. As I repeat, this video is from last year. Not this year. 2015. 2015. And this is a, most of it's not even a video. Most of it's audio. Because, honey, the way that I get treated, I have to carry cameras... You know, hidden cameras and a microphone every single place I go now. I don't go without them any place, anywhere, anytime. Because I have people that say all kinds of stuff about me that I've never done. Never hurt nobody. Hey, I've never hurt nobody. God can stand here right now, right in front of me, right here. And you know what? Um, all you people that don't, you think I'm a monster, you think I don't believe in anything. Yes, I do believe in God. I do believe in Jesus. My dad was a filling preacher. My mom was a Sunday school teacher. But I don't believe in it the way you do it. I accept people as they are. They can come into my place as they are. They can dance, they can, you know, this and that. I don't listen to stuff that's on the internet or hear say about them. I get to know them. I sit down here and I get to know about them. I don't believe what's on there or on TV or anything. To get to know you, I'm not going to believe that stuff. I want you to know that. I'm going to sit down with you and talk to you. Not make an excuse to get rid of you just because of who you are. And let's face it, last year I had a problem. No, it was a year before that. I had a problem when, when I went into the uh, ladies' bathroom at the Faith Family Church. And, oh my God, he's coming running over there. Oh, oh, oh my God. Uh, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, he said he. He. He said he. He's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. Like, oh my God, I just killed somebody or something. That's, you know, he went crazy. He made a special bathroom for me. You know what I mean? Special place. And you want to know something, honey? There ain't no other church has done that. They threw me out. They didn't make a special bathroom I had to go to. I mean, hey, I didn't even argue with that. You know what I mean? I did it, you know? That's what they want. I did it. Now, wasn't a big deal. Just the way that they acted was the big deal. Like, oh, 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 my God. Is he, is he going to, my wife is in oh, she's attacking her. Baloney. Is that the, you trust and you believe in God? You have no faith. You're afraid. You don't, you hypocrites out there, man. You believe in God, you don't believe in nothing. You need to go back and find out what it is all about because what you did, Saint, uh, Faith Family Church, and all the rest of them, 
hypocrites. Doesn't mean to know the meaning of God. I know the meaning of God. I know the meaning of it better than you do. Because I don't judge people. I'm not that monster that they may, may be out as. I'll tell you something. The reason I'm so upset all the time. You people have hurt me so bad. So much. So many times. That I don't even have feelings no more. You want me to go to church and you want me to. Oh, I need to find God. and I need to, I need to have peace on earth. I need to find Christmas. Hey. I haven't found a church, not one, that hasn't thrown me out. And don't blame the dancing either. Because a lot of them I haven't even stood up and danced. I didn't even walk into this one. Faith found me two seconds. And they're after me. The same goes with the one last week. Same thing. Didn't dance. Didn't do anything. I was there two seconds. Five, okay, 30 seconds minimum. But I'll tell you something. This guy, this church gives me the creeps. It, it makes me scared. I, he said that, I, that, that, that church, I'm scared. When I, I got around this, these three people, it scared me out of my mind. you know that? Because I got a real bad feeling about it. And I had a real bad feeling that this was the most dangerous person I ever met in my life. And there's only two other most dangerous people that I'm talking about there that I have, uh, you know, I've ever met. One of them's at that museum, and we're, we're back together again. There's no problem with that no more. The other one I'm not going to mention. But I'll tell you something. This guy, this church, most terrifying I've ever seen. I mean, what is it with deal with? You're supposed to save somebody. You're supposed to find how to, how to show them the meaning of God. Are you showing me the meaning of God? Or are you showing me the meaning of hate? From the one downstairs, if you know who I'm talking about. Because that's where that came from. You don't go in there and show somebody the meaning of God. Oh, we love you. Oh, here, we're going to take and throw you out with the police. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. You're a big monster with the butcher knives. Is that the meaning of God? Don't you hypocrite. Because I care about people. You don't even know who I am. None of you people. You have no idea. You need to take and you need to sit down here and turn off that internet, turn off that TV and all that hype, and don't pay attention to my Halloween videos. That was ha 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 funny for Halloween. Didn't mean anything. That was an excuse, by the way. You need to sit down in this chair and get to know me for real. Like this Lisa up here get, got to know me. That's the you, me you got to know. And you want to know something? You got to find out I'm a pretty nice guy. Because you want to know something? I'm the only one that would step in and put my life on the line to save yours. Even if you hated me. I'm the guy that would do that. Would you do that? Probably not. Would you put your life on the line, you know, if, if, if so, you was falling in a hole, go reach in that hole and grab you? No, you probably wouldn't do that, but I would. That's the me you need to get to know. But anyway, I'm going to shorten this now because we don't want to LinkedIn it. Because I want to get my, some rest today. Faith Family Church, Greenmount Road, Shiloh, Illinois. Most scary, bone-chilling, and I mean bone-chilling, uh, church I have ever, ever witnessed. Thank you for joining me. A good night.